Mark, why do you actually paint hockey cards? You know how we've got the artwork of Andy Warhol in the Campbell Soup Can? Yeah. Well, that's pop art. And to me, the hockey cards are a bit like the Canadian pop mm. art. And Andy Warhol had this saying, you ought to make things big. People like it that way. That was actually an Alou Reed song that he wrote for Andy Warhol. Yeah. And Dad, sing like Lou Reed. You ought to make things big. People like it that way. And the songs with the dirty words. Make sure you record them that way. And you'd like to stir up trouble. He was funny that way. He said it's just work. He, he doesn't sing. He talks. Hey, babe. It's, it's no. not singing. No. Anyway, some of, the, some of the cards that I painted were from my childhood. I was into when I was uh, eight years old when I stole that $5 from my dad. Um, you know, guys like Guy Lafleur and Tony O, Tony Esposito, and his brother Phil, Phil Esposito, Denny Potvin, Daryl Sittler. You know, I, I love celebrating the stars like, uh, you know, a Gretzky or a Ken Dryden, Steve Shutt, you know, even a Tim Horton or Stan Makita. But I also love celebrating the lesser known guys like... Uh, you know, a Terry Harper or a Henry Bouchard, Bobby Lalonde was a bit like that. And uh, I just think the athletic accomplishments are so cool that I love honoring these careers, uh, you know, whether they were Hall of Famers or whether they're guys who had a, a cup of coffee in the league. Anyway, I think the hockey cards, like that Bobby Orr one, did you know that one is double-sided and there are stats on the back? Really? Yeah, go look at it. And Bobby Orr actually signed that one. I think I might do a couple more like that. I think those were cool. It's supposed to stay on this. Yeah, it's glued in there. Yeah. Oh. That's funny. They always had those goofy cartoons on the back and his stats. and. Wait, he was only 5'11"? Yeah. Yeah, the guys back That's then it? were... Yeah, the guys back then weren't nearly as big as they are now. Because I play football, and most fo like successful football players are 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, like the guys now are genetic freaks. Short-handed, here he is, cutting in with Esposito, flipping on the side, and it scores! Bobby Orr, short-handed goal to tie it up! What a Bobby Orr goal!